G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph Mayhew here and today I'm going to bring you a sequel to one of my well-performing videos about how to clean up dust spots. So that was about how to clean up dust spots and it touched on the idea of sensor cleaning and that's what we're talking about today with these products that have been sent to me by Nightcore. Ha! Come on! Thanks so much Nightcore. They reached out and they said, can we send you these things to have a play with and explore what sort of camera to use? I use a full frame camera. So they sent me a full frame sensor cleaning kit and some other goodies that we're going to get into today. Now, if you haven't seen my first video, I'd encourage you to go to it right now or hope to the end of this video and there's a link to it. Go to there. There's a link at the end of that video to come back here and jump into this. So the first product we're talking about today is the blower baby, baby. It's just the blower baby. It's like I called you baby, right? It's the blower baby, baby. And here it is. They do packaging well. They do packaging really, really well. And it makes you feel special. It makes you feel looked after like they thought about it. This is a rechargeable blower. It has the USB-C in here. But we'll put the packaging to the side. And it's quite simple. You press the button and what's this? That's sort of what, what we've got in. How's that? 70 kilometers. Now, 70 kilometers doesn't mean much, right? It sounds impressive, but what actually is 70 kilometers? Well, this is 25 kilometers. This, 70. So what it means is it's gonna be windy. Beard rating, no, seven. So it's, it's helpful when your, your camera's dirty or your bag's dirty or your gear's dirty, you just pull this out and you can blast it with air. And you're going like, that's pretty cool. Now you can actually use this on your sensor and it comes with a sensor cleaning filter. This basically sucks the air in, filters it and spits it out clean, right? Now you do have the issue of the air that's between here and whatever you're blowing, but it's much cleaner coming through here. But they have a sensor cleaning filter option, which you can purchase, comes in this nice little container. And this, it's, so basically you just turn this, take it off, line up the arrow, turn it, put it back on, and it will now suck in clean air and you can use it to clean your filter. Now. There's a bit of controversy about whether you should use an air blower to clean your filter. You absolutely shouldn't use high pressured air from a can. Never do that because what pressurizes it is actually a chemical that you don't want on your sensor or wreck your sensor. Now you can use this, it's been tested, it's recommended to use this on your sensor. The challenge is though, sometimes when you blow a lot of air at a high velocity onto your sensor, there are fragments of dirt on your sensor and you don't want to split those fragments of dirt and have them scratch your sensor because they've been pushed by this. But we have another solution for you. But before we get to that, this, this, the blower baby, that's won, might I add, an IF award, which is one of the most prestigious awards given to a design product. And so Nightcore have won that. Well done, guys. And this retails for $79.95. And depends where you get it and how you get it and all those sort of things. But there'll be links in the description below. So you have this. You have your filter on it for $7.95. And then they have this. This is the camera cleaning pen. And these are really cool. Or super light, they packaged it so well. You pull it out, you have your pen nestled in. Light packaging means less money that we're paying for postage. Thank you, Nikor. Um, and this, it doesn't look like much, except this is a magnetically held in pen that when you pop it up, you get a nice microfiber nib. And that rotates a little bit. It's nice and clean and soft until you put your dirty fingers on it, but it's perfect for lens cleaning. You can just, Oh, get rid of all that dirt and have it beautiful and clean. You can actually stick it in your eyepiece and clean that. And sometimes, I don't know about you, but my cheek gets a bit greasy uh, with the beard, which is gone now by the time you're watching this. And you can use it to clean your screen nice and good as you like. Yeah, come on. You can also use it, I suppose, it'll take you a little while but to um, clean your, your monitor. If that gets a bit dirty, I know mine gets a bit grubby. I'm not sure how, but that's what happens. But this isn't the end. Inside here, if we open this up. You have some accessories that work with the blower baby. And you have two brushes. You have a lovely soft brush. And you have a 
a harsher, stiffer brush. And you basically pop them in, and then it blows the air through, and you can use it to clean out all your, all your dials, all your buttons. You can flip your screen up and see if it's got dirty under there. And oh, look at that, it is. We can do something about that. You have to hold your finger on the button as you do it. But you can actually make your camera all nice and shiny and new. And I don't know about you, sometimes I worry that the card slots get a bit, get a, get a bit, you know, clogged up and stuff. So you can turn it upside down, blow the heck out of them like this, see if there's any junk that falls out. Because you do not want dust in your camera SD slots. Also comes with a nice soft brush for delicate applications. All right, let's take the lens off this camera and here is my sensor for all to see. Now this sensor is a bit dirty and you can see that by the light catching the sensor and you can have a look. You can even get what's called a loop, which is some lights and a magnifying glass that you apply with your eye and you get to see if there's any dirt or any mess on the sensor and see how clean it is or how in need of a clean it is. The other thing I would advise, sometimes you get gunk caught in your adapter that you put on and the adapter can hold strands or whatever that I mean this is clean and this is clean but the in-between piece isn't so always check your adapter that there's no weird things just lodged in there that cause your photos to be distorted. Now you can grab your blower baby but I would um, hold your, your sensor so it's facing down because you want all the dust to fall down and at a distance you can sort of apply this I wouldn't go up harsh up straight up to it but at this this rate it's okay get even if you're careful get one of your brushes pop it on and really carefully you can clean around the side of the sensor but do it so you're blowing away from the sensor you're not blowing on to the sensor and you can clear up some of the grime or some of the bits and pieces might be on your z-mount ring so really important to make sure that's clean as well. So let's get to the point that this channel has been moving toward for the last couple of years and that is to talk about sensor cleaning itself and I've shied away from it, I've scared away from teaching on it because there's a high risk to so do this really carefully and you do this at your own risk. You might stuff it up, don't blame that on me, just be really careful. If you're not confident, don't do it. Go and ask a professional to do it. But if you do want to do it, this is what you get from Nikkor. They supply a sensor cleaning kit. And I've been cleaning now my sensor for a couple of years. I've done it on multiple cameras for multiple people, so I really feel confident to talk about it. But if you don't feel confident, baby steps, take it slow, don't stuff up your camera. You don't want to do that because you can easily do that by the most vulnerable part of your camera, which is the sensor. This is a full frame kit for a full frame camera. You can get APS-C cleaning kits that are for an APS-C or a crop sensor camera. And you can also get micro three four thirds, micro three, three fourths, four thirds. You know those cameras that nobody uses anymore? You can get them. <laughs> if you're one of those users, please comment below and like, come on, let's get it on. Yeah. If you're enjoying this video, thumbs up, subscribe, you know the deal. And I'm going to show you how you can clean your sensor with one of these. It's important to get the right size because the sensor is the different size, which therefore uh, dictates the price of the camera and the ability of the camera to handle light. And so we are going to jump into this. It comes with a solution and your swabs. And what I like to do is have everything set up and ready to go so that when I take my lens off my camera, there's not going to be allowance for a heap more dirt. And what you tend to do is put your sensor down because dust will settle. And if it's down, it's uh, oh, hard to get up. So we take one of our swabs. We don't open it yet. And we take the solution, which has a high rate of alcohol in it, which means it evaporates shortly after it's been applied. So the idea is that it's applied with a swab and you take all the dust off with a smooth finish. And as you do, what's left is nothing because it all evaporates. Now what you never want to do is use this on your sensor. Uh-uh, never. Never use this on your sensor. Like the brush, no contact, uh-uh-uh. Do not use a cotton swab or a handkerchief or your tongue or whatever else springs to mind at that moment. Do not do it because a scratch sensor will cost you a new camera. The scratch sensors are an absolute fortune to replace. I know this, because I've been there. Don't be an idiot like me. Now, what we do is um, you, you have this solution and you apply this solution to the swab, and then you apply the swab 
to the sensor. And you do that by a couple of drops, perhaps three drops, and you'll see it. You'll see it seep through. Once you've got your three drops, you turn your camera over and you go from one side, you just gently put it, and it's sort of like the most delicate touch. It's like a little a little brush like that. So there's enough pressure that you're making contact, but not enough pressure that you're actually damaging the sensor. And what you can choose to do is go into the bathroom, shut the doors, shut the window, don't take your camera in just yet, turn the hot water on and get it all misty. And what happens is you can then turn the water off, let it cool down, and the, you will increase the humidity in the room and the humidity will weigh all the dust particles down. Now that's if you're really scared and anxious, and that's where I started, I don't bother with that anymore. Here we go, action time. Tear the swab, only before you use it, because you don't want to put dust on your swab, right? You pull it out, you turn your camera over, you very carefully, away from your sensor, you go one, two, I'm going to go four. And you simply as soon as you clean it, grab your lens, put it back on, and you're raring to go. And what's more is the cleaning kit won the Red Dot Award, which is another amazing design award that comes out of Germany. It's an international award, so kudos to you guys. If you want to know how dirty your lens is, check out my video that I made a few years ago. That'll really help you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you want any of these products, the links are in the description below. Thanks, Nikkor, for sending them. They are great. They really are good. And it looks like Nikkor are a, a big heavyweight coming in, like... Well, featherweight, welterweight, heavyweight, they, they're coming in, they're coming to fight, they're coming to take it to some of the bigger brands, and I'm excited. I'm excited, I hope you are, I hope you enjoy these products, I hope it's been helpful, and good luck with your sensor cleaning. Be careful. Be very careful. Thanks. See ya. These sagas I've had with audio on this video, oh, take me now. Wow, crackling, popping, it's stuffed, batteries running out. It's taken like a week to film this video. Thank you for watching if you stayed all this long. Oh, some days YouTube. Pff.